How did lunch go yesterday? Fine, thanks. Who are we seeing first? Um, Mrs. Fox. She had a carotid body tumor resected three days ago. I suppose I should take you up myself. Don't worry, all part of the plan, so Uncle Vijay can report back home. Yes. A foursome with Sunil and one of his girlfriends should do it. Safety in numbers and all that. Safety? What do you think I'm afraid of? Good morning, Mrs. Fox. How's your neck today? Better, thanks. Dr. Giovanni just needs to check your wound, all right? Oh, that's healing very well. I'm happy for you to go home tomorrow. Oh, great. Are the backache and rheumatism still worrying you? I'm terrible. Are you still interested in trying that herbal remedy? Mm, please. I've written it here. Sariva Rasayana. Use it with the Narayana massage oil and you can get them both at the Ayurvedic pharmacy on Q Road. Thanks. My pleasure. And when you're ready, you should probably go see an Ayurvedic doctor because your diet will need to be changed too. Is Justine happy with you dishing out alternative remedies? Justine has a closed mind. Other doctors here do not. Other doctors aren't your boss. If she finds out you've been pushing Indian... I haven't. Mrs. Fox and I talked about it the other day and she asked me to recommend something. You should have said no. And deny a person pain relief. Dinesh. I know what I'm doing, Shanti. But thank you for caring. Promise I won't tell Scotty. I'm just sorry your dad let you down again. He doesn't mean to. It'll be different when he's better. Would you like to go on holiday? With me and Harry? I can't. I've got dad to No, look he'll out. be fine. He's got nurses around the clock. I start school next week. I'll call the principal, square it off. Really? Can you do that? You're worn out. And Harry's still unsettled from the accident. You both need a rest and some playtime. It won't be a problem. What if dad doesn't want me to go? I'll talk to him and Tony. It wouldn't be for long, eh? You wouldn't have to worry. Yeah, and you don't have to worry either. Your dad's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Aunt Millie loves tummies, but not stomachs. I give up! Tell me! I can't. Aunt Millie loves winners, not losers. Uh, uh, right, well, there's no fracture. It looks like a sprain. How's your baby girl getting on? She's fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, is everything else all right at home? You asked me that last time. I know, Melissa. I'm just concerned about you and your baby. You know, if you didn't fall, if, um, if your partner did this to you... He says I wind him up. He says it's all my fault. But he gets so jealous, you know, over nothing. And he hates Maxie crying. Sometimes I just can't shut her up. I don't know what to do. Well, you've done the right thing coming here. You don't have to put up with this. But Tom's got the baby. I mean, if he finds out that I've I told you... I can get Maxie out of the house and make you both safe. Will you let me do that? Can I interest you in a slightly used surgical registrar? He's going to wish he'd never met me. And who are we gunning for now, my love? Dinesh Giovanni. Ah. He's been foisting wacko jacko remedies on one of my post-op patients. Just wait till I... Actually, I would be interested in taking Dinesh on. I'm thinking of offering holistic medicine through the PCC. Ha ha, very funny. Not joking, I've discussed it with him. When? This morning. You encouraged him. So that's where he got his nerve from. Yeah, well, unlike you, I am open to alternative therapies. It's quackery, cut and dry. <laughs> yes, we knew you'd say that, but there are lots of natural remedies can be backed up by science. I can show you papers. You can get stuffed. <sighs> Look, I think you're overlooking a real asset, Justine. Dinesh is highly trained in Ayurveda, and if you embrace it appropriately, you could make a real name for yourself. I've got a name for you, you... Dinesh is my registrar, not yours. Oh, and... oh, 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 I thought he was up for grabs. And I'm going to haul him into line, so you can keep your nose out. <laughs> now, Melissa, I've spoken to social services and they'd like the police to go around to the house. Cops. And... You never mentioned them. Tom will go mad. Well, if he does, he'll get arrested, but you'll both be safe. You know, it's not a bad thing. No, you don't understand. You don't know what he's like. Melissa, it's the only way. We have to get your baby out of there. I need to think. Okay? Please. Okay. Just... Yeah, I'll, um, I'll give you a few minutes. 
No more clothes. Just tell me. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> nah. -uh. Well, Aunt Millie doesn't like scally Sarah. No. Nah. She likes happy Sarah. I thought she didn't like Sarah at all. Shut up. Just shut up. I've had enough of both of you. <laughs> it's just a joke. Yeah, so is your whole life, Kit. But it's not like that for other people. They have pain and misery to deal with. And idiots like you just end up making it worse. He admitted it. Getting high means more to him than his own daughter. I won't let him try that again. I'm taking Harry and Tuesday away. No, you can't. I've told the schools and Guy, and now I'm telling you, those kids are exhausted. They need a break. Harry can't sleep for nightmares. It's my fault, I know. If you're doing this to punish well, me... It's not about you, and it's not negotiable. We're going. For how long? Two weeks. It's a holiday, not an abduction. What did Guy say? He was still yelling when I left the room. We're off in the morning. Everything okay? Fine. How's the pre-oxum recall? Uh, getting there. I've still got a few people to contact. And the rest of the list? I had some urgent things to do for TK, but I'm cutting through it. Okay. You got time to do a quick dressing for me? Sure. He's in the treatment room with his mum. I'll be right there. Primary care. Tony speaking. I know a guy, I've just seen him. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I... Well, no, I can't come now, I'm working. No, I'm sorry, guy. I have to go, I'll see you soon. Where's the pre-op arteriogram? Here on standby. Ready to go? Yes. Eleven blades, scalpel. Dinesh, we need to talk about Mrs Fox. She was in bed. She asked my advice. I don't care so... if she paid you in spun gold. Drop the home-baked remedies. I mean it. I won't warn you again. To make your forceps. Now, come on. Dr. Jones will extend the incision about 10 centimetres. She'll then free the popliteal artery and vast depths around it. Right. Got it. Scientifically proven medicine. That's all I deal in. I expect the same from my staff. I understand, and I will adhere to those guidelines. I hope so. You seem to know what you're doing. It'd be a shame to lose you. The social worker's on her way. She'll help you. Um, Sarah Whistler, aren't they? Okay. This is for the best, all right? Aunt Millie likes lollies, but she doesn't like candy. I get it, of course! What? She likes dressings, but she doesn't like bandages. She likes scissors. But she doesn't like scalpels. Woohoo! Ah, trust me to be the last one in on the joke. Yeah, I'm not quite the last. Huh? I thought we were busy. Uh, Millie doesn't like busy. No, but she loves fully occupied. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm sorry. Call me stupid. Dr. Potts? Yep, that's me. Social services. Oh, hi. Um, come and meet Melissa. Damn it. She's gone. So? Uh... Her partner has their baby. He's violent and abusive. I'm very worried for them. You have to get them out. So it's definite you're away for two weeks? Yeah, whether Guy likes it or not. His moods have got worse. You've seen that. He'll be desperate for a hit. No way is he getting drugs in here. Not on my watch. I promise you. What do you think you're doing? Discharging myself. I'm out of here. I can't let you do that. Not a prisoner. Guy? He says he's leaving. Let me talk to him, will you? I'll be outside. Where exactly do you think you're going? You've got a place for A room. With friends. They won't have you. After what you did to Tuesday, I wouldn't even ask them. I would never hurt her. You know that. It's just being in this place. It's driving Stop me... Stop it! You're lucky Chris isn't going for permanent custody. I reckon he'd get it. No, you don't say that. She's all I've got. And he's already taking her away. I can't stop that. And that's why I have to get out of here. You can help me. I get... can't. No, I can get clean. I can handle the withdrawals. I, I just need you and choose that. I'm working full time. She's going... Get a little bit of support here, Tony. You're getting more than you deserve after what you did. I'm sorry. OK, I'm really sorry. That's why I have... I'm sorry. I... Kate, I'm really sorry. If you just give me one more chance. I'll see you later. Tony, please! Tony! 
That went well, I thought. Except for my fumbles at debakey dissecting forceps. Sorry about that. Obviously, I should have screened you more thoroughly. I don't usually make mistakes. It won't happen again. It had better not. I don't tolerate weak links. To be fair, Morgan was working with the new surgeon's layout, and she recovered quickly. No harm done. Thanks to you. Quite the knight in shining armour. I'll be on my game next time, honest. See ya. And didn't Morgan work with you earlier in the week? The trauma case. She did all right, didn't she? Remember my warning, Dinesh? About proven signs. Don't cross me again. She heard about Mrs. Fox, didn't she? It's all right. Justine and I have reached an understanding. What understanding? That only proven signs can be practiced on the surgical ward. Happily, Ayurveda has thousands of years of science behind it. Dinesh, that's not what... It's what she said. Let me get my... Oh, come straight through. Thanks. Melissa, what happened? You should have stayed out of this. I didn't want the cop. If Tom was hurting you, it couldn't have gone on. He went mad, like I said. There was a fight. He blames me. It'll be okay. The police will charge him with assault. You can get a protection order. They mean nothing. You'll come after me. Well, then you and the baby can go somewhere else. It really is for the best, Melissa. What the hell would you know? You're a freaking princess and you live in a dream. I should never have trusted you. Are you the social worker? Get me out of here. Can't help some people for trying, eh? You okay? They'll be well looked after. I oh, know, but family's different, eh? They're in it for the long haul. That's why they have to take care of themselves so they don't fall over. I suppose. And there he goes. Taking our kids away, out of school, whatever he likes. It's only for two weeks he'll bring them back. Yeah, once he's turned them against us. That's what this is all about. It's a done deal, Guy. Let it go. Oh, so you're all for it now, eh? No, but I can't see the point. Oh, just against me then, huh? Because I'm such a waste of space. I wouldn't be here if I thought that. I shouldn't have walked out before. I'm just worn down. I can't keep fighting Chris every step of the way. And you have to. If you give in to him now, he will control everything. You have to be strong, Tony. I can't. Now, Millie loves coffee, but not tea. She'll eat a muffin, but she won't touch cake. Yeah, I know the answer. Just letting you guys have your fun. Liar, you do not. Oh, come on. It's so obvious. Oh, OK, then. What does Aunt Millie like? Don't encourage them, Craig. It's pathetic. What is? Your obsession with something so trivial and pointless. There are bigger things to think about. Oh, Aunt Millie doesn't like grumpy. No, no, she likes pretty and witty and happy but not bright. You just worked that out. Oh, hours ago. No. Aunt Millie likes sadness, hates despair. She likes depression, but not the doldrums. She loves distress and hates misery. Huh. She's got it. And all double S's go potsy. She likes gloomy and hates glum. She's totally got it. <laughs> Come on, what's wrong? <laughs> ben Stiller has met the love of his life and the time has come to meet the parents, but the process has an extra dimension with his father-in-law, ex-CIA. Romantic comedy tonight at 9.35, 1.